Yeah, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is the third and latest to get emergency approval from the federal government. And as we're learning, it's being earmarked for certain groups of people. Jack Watson joining us now to help understand what's going on here. Jack. That's right, Adam. And we know with the Pfizer and the Moderna shots, you need two shots. You've got to come back for that second shot. J&J, &J, it's just the one dose. And the doctor we spoke with today says there's a reason that some J&J &J is being set aside for some population groups. The advantage of that is that you don't have to return. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It's one dose and it's higher priority for some. Dr. Edward Walsh with Rochester Regional Health says the J&J &J works best for some population groups including hospital patients, the incarcerated population, and people experiencing homelessness. Just one dose means it's especially easy to administer. One and done. Individuals in whom it may be hard to get them back for a second dose. Uh, where it may be even hard to get them in for a first dose, but especially hard to get them back for a second dose, uh, would therefore be uh, a, a population that, that could truly benefit from this. A batch of those J&J &J shots failed quality standards this week. At a Thursday briefing, Monroe County Health Director Dr. Michael Mendoza expressed concern that it would affect our supply. He also says priority should go to those groups. There are populations where we want to prioritize the J&J. Um, I understand that everybody wants it. It's the convenient one. It's the one dose one. But um, we still are at a point where the demand for J&J &J far outstrips supply. And so we still need to allocate it to where it makes the most sense. Some folks may be understandably frustrated, but Dr. Walsh says we are still in the early phases of the rollout of three different vaccines. And we have to stay patient. Until we have hundreds of millions of doses, not tens, which we, is what we've been dealing with, uh, until we have the hundreds of millions of doses, this is the situation we're in. And Adam, as Dr. Walsh says, we are still very early in this vaccine rollout. The good news is the vaccine rollout is going, getting quicker with 30% of the New York State population getting at least one vaccine. Live in Rochester, Jack Watson, News 8. Jack, thank you. Johnson & Johnson says it still expects to deliver more than 1 billion vaccine doses globally by the end of the year, despite the batch that failed quality standards this week.